We are back at the elementary school today. We are gonna figure out why that light exploded. Stay tuned. Buckle up for safety as I give you a day in the life of facilities maintenance. So, yesterday, this is the light that um, somewhere inside lit on fire when we energized the circuit. So today, I'm going to open it up. But at the end of the day, whatever happened doesn't really matter because my solution is going to be to uh, bypass the ballast in this one and just go to a straight up connection and then use an LED bulb. So let's get started. Something to mention that before you do anything like this, it is absolutely vital that you uh, make sure you shut off the power at the breaker panel, which I've done. Oh, I can smell that, it stinks. A little bit of scorching around the paper. Yeah, what have we got? Here. Well, the capacitor looks fine. That means that all that smoke and whatnot was had to have been coming out of the ballast. Actually, yeah, when I look at the scorch marks or the soot marks right there that aligns with uh, the back side of the ballast up here. So that's, uh, that's weird, because this thing is essentially brand new. It's only got about 100 hours of use, so it makes me wonder if it was faulty from the get-go. It's also worth mentioning that um, capacitors store energy. So even though the power is off, the breaker is shut off, um, I still have to be careful. I don't want to, uh, to touch any of the leads on this capacitor unless you uh, discharge it. Because, um, yeah, you could get yourself uh, shocked. And that is shocking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tease out all the wires. And that's pretty simple to do. Um, this is my ground. I'm actually not going to touch that. Um, I don't need to. This, uh, this ground wire is grounding um, the circuit with the fixture housing. And so I need that. I'm just going to leave that. All I really need to do is just get, it, get rid of the ballast. The, the connection's going to the ballast and to the uh, capacitor there. And I've teased out my neutral. I've teased out my hot wire here ground is going to remain where it is because it's grounding the circuit and the housing and then this bulb socket here will have two wires coming from it and they are these guys right there and so that's easy enough I can oh, cutting is easier you're done you're done so these are my socket connections. I'll keep those separate. These ones here, I can undo. Oh, maybe not. These wire nuts are kind of awesome. Oh, that one's come off. That's good. Well, with enough twisting, this should come off. There it goes. And now you're off. So that is also good. So this is the keeper. This is the keeper. This is the keeper. These are not. So the easiest thing to do with all those, since they no longer serve a purpose, just cut them, get rid of them like that actually not necessary to take the uh, 
the ballast right out of there. Because um, it's really not in the way. All I have to do is make the connections. My neutral right here to the neutral, my hot lead to the hot lead, button it back up. And that is how you bypass a ballast. Something I wanna mention where um, people often make a mistake is they want to take this wire, which is a multi-stranded wire, and they want to twist it together with this wire, which is a solid copper wire. And uh, that's incorrect. If these wires were both solid, I would twist them together, but they're not. The multi-stranded wire, I'll twist this a little bit tighter so I don't end up with any of the wires um, fraying from each other, but then I'm just gonna lay them side by side and put my wire nut on and that will give me the best connection. So my white neutrals are now uh, wire nutted together. I'm gonna do the same with my uh, with the black lead, but you can see that one wire is slightly longer than the other. So before I do that, I'm gonna trim them off equal. That way uh, they will both be um, secured in the wire nut um, equally, if that makes sense. So my neutral and my hot are connected and secured. I've checked my ground and it is secure. So I am now ready to, uh, to button this back up. Um, but first, before I do that, I'll show you something else I like to do. Before I put this cover back in place, because I have changed this fixture from one that previously took a, uh, a different type of bulb, it was a mercury vapor bulb, I'm going to write ballast bypassed on here. And that way anybody in the future who comes along and sees this will know what kind of bulb they need to use that they can no longer use a uh, mercury vapor bulb. So with that in place, now this bulb, will come out of here because it's still a good bulb, but it will no longer function in this, um, in this type of setup. So it needs to come out and a different bulb needs to go in. The bulb I'm choosing to use is um, an LED bulb. Now these bulbs are nice. It puts out the same amount of lumens that the previous bulb put out and um, comes with a larger mogul adapter, which I'll need for this fixture here, but this could also be used uh, in a fixture that has a standard size um, screw in base. Um, so yeah, it's fairly versatile. Just have to make sure that um, because this is going into a closed housing and that it is outside that the bulb you pick is both um, uh, rated for being outdoors most of them are outdoors but they need to be in a um, protected um, fixture but also because the fixture is enclosed um, they also need to be able to withstand that uh, so you can't get one that um, they don't want them to get too hot because that's not good for the bulb stay cool man So here we are at our uh, moment of truth moment. So I'm gonna go uh, turn, the, turn the breaker back on and we'll uh, see what we've got. In our instance here, I have to do two things to turn the lights on um, outside. Turn that to manual. <laughs> and then I need to turn the breaker back on. So let's go see. Huh. So. This is the one I bypassed yesterday, so it is good to see that you are still working. So let's go take a look around the corner. Huzzah! Success. Okay, I've got one more light I need to look at on the other side of the school, but for today, that's, uh, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.